I'm Chris Powell. And I'm Vance Astro. And, and we're doing comic book reviews. Okay. Um, so, I guess I'll start. I'll start with Ultimate Comics Spider-Man, the newest story arc, Venom Wars. And in the Ultimate Comics Spider-Man, there's is, is a um, new Venom, but um, I only have the three out of the four issues because... Um, subscription and try and get a new one and they wouldn't mail it but um what i've read is pretty good the last issue is actually really shocking spoiler alert miles is her his mom dies yeah um there's no venom from ultimate normal ultimate spider-man before peter parker was shot down by the uh by norman osborne and the punisher well um, venom was eddie brock and yes. he was Parker's old friend who um, found the, the Venom symbiote, which uh, Parker's father had been working on with his father, and was taken over by it. Then was kidnapped by the Beetle until that very end for Doctor Doom, and we never saw Venom Venom symbiote again until now. If I were to get, I'd say the Beetle was taken over, Doctor yeah. Doom was taken over, or it's Brock again under it's control. It's honestly not that clear who Venom is in here. Yeah, it's really. They show a little still of. Um, like, I don't know, Venom, like, Unleashed or whatever, but it's not much. Um, they meet up with, um, Gwen Stacy, Mary Jane, and they talk, and that's... She's carnage again. Yeah, they said, I was killed by something just like this. It took my life juices, my genetic whatever, and I was part of it. I was a monster. Yeah, Gwen was carnage for a while. Yeah. Before she was... Alright, so, now, uh, I'm going to review the Avengers Arena story arc, which I've been following for quite a while. Um, in Avengers Arena, um, Ar Arcade, an insane villain, kidnaps about right around 16 kids yeah. on, his mur on a new murder world island complex and forces them to fight against each other. Now, so far, um, some really shocking things have happened. Yeah, um, Chase, Definitely. Nico's girlfriend, Nico's boyfriend, has been... <laughs> Uh, has been attacked and Darkhawk Amulet Darkhawk Amulet has embedded itself in his chest. Kid Britain had his head cut off. And what issue off. four? Six. Okay. Had his head cut off. Um, Seven also takes a look into Arcade's past and why he created the murder complex. Yeah. Issue eight, nothing really big happens, but Apex is re it's revealed that the, the, uh, the Apex twins um, Apex was this girl who, uh, her name was Katie, and she was, uh, had control of the machines. Yes. But apparently her brother Tim was also trapped inside her mind, only she was the dominant psyche. Um, in issue 9, Apex, um, com comes back as Katie and kills Justin, the second little kid. And then issue 10, um, Apex kills Nico. So... I bet it's sort of on the killing streak, murdering a lot of people and yes. taking over their minds. And I have not read all of Avengers right now. I read the issue one. I was very skeptical going into it because I'm like, well, I saw, I saw the lineup and I'm like, Darkhawk, X23, Metal, and Hazmat were some of the people I know. And I'm like, why would they put these people in a game that they're going to be killed off in? Just, but... Now that I've read the series, it's kind of grown on me. Yeah, the, the, it's supposed to get rid of the tired Marvel characters, people that they couldn't really use. It's sort of a, it's a good storyline, but it's kind of a lame attempt on Marvel's part to get rid of characters. Yes, definitely. Right. Okay, I'm gonna go and um, let's use. I'll use Uncanny Adventures number one. Now I read this a while back, but it is pretty good. If any of you have read. Avengers vs. X-Men, you realize that um, Cyclops has killed Charles Xavier. In the beginning, they have um, Wolverine in just kind of remembering, and he is at a funeral for Charles Xavier, and um, it's a good book. At the end, they, they talk with um, Cyclops. Um, Let's see here. Talk of Cyclops, they fight some guys, but... Yeah, um, something to add is, um, 
Avalanche, a, mu a gr Greek mutant, who um, was part of the original Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, one of the Titan incarnation, he's been given a lobotomy and taken control yeah. of by, I believe, the Red Skull. The roster for his team is Captain America, Wolverine, Rouge, Scarlet Witch, Thor, and um, Havoc. Which surprised me because they seem to have like forgotten all about how Scarlet Witch has the breakdown, and they sort yeah. of cut that out of the whole I mean, world But it now. seems like, I mean... They're all, like, almost mutants besides Cap and Thor. I think they should use some more, um, more Avengers, I guess. Yeah, they, they, they really have taken the storyline, like, half X-Men, half Avengers. Yeah. But there's four ever mutants since, total, which is Ever really since, um, the ends of Avengers vs. X-Men, especially with A vs. X book, or A plus X, or whatever they're calling it. Go ahead. Uh, you want, okay, um... So, I'm going to talk about Team Superior Spider-Man. It's been coming up as an issue. So, Superior Spider-Man started out as what, was, what seemed like a limited series. But they, what Marvel made appear like in the limited series. Yeah. Issue 1, 2, 3, and 4. But um, 4 is off in a cliffhanger, which leads to 5, which brings us into... But so, number 1, I chose with Peter Parker's sending his body back. Yes. And these are some certain different, definite spoilers if, if you haven't made it up to issue 11. But Peter Parker's attempting to get his You've body back. These are spoilers. Um, Peter's attempting to get his body back from Doc Ock, who has his mind taken into it. He fights the Sinister Six, puts Boomer, knocks out Boomerang, bloodies him up, he puts the, uh, um, Vulture in a coma, he breaks off his relationship with Mary Jean, he starts dating this tutor, Anna Arconi. Now, a big, thing, a, midget. A, a big problem about Superior Spider-Man is how violent Doc's become. He put, he's put two people in comas, he's put, um, he knocked... Screwball and Jester, he almost killed them. He killed Massacre with a gun to the head. The event, he's um, been kicked off the Avengers. He, and he's also wiped Peter Parker from his mind. And it's issue number nine. A lot of the really violent things that have been going on stem from Doc's uh, whole relationship with Peter Parker and how he can't stand him no matter how much good he's done. Yeah. So this issue is supposed to really show how... Um, Doc is so sick of Peter, and he just wants him dead and gone. Yeah. I haven't read all of Superior Spider-Man, but what I've read is pretty good. I mean, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll read you Iron Man, Iron Man 3, the prelude, and then we can get talking some comic book movies. So, I actually saw Iron Man 3 before I picked the prelude, but... I've seen it twice. Really? Yeah, I've seen it twice. But it it starts at the end of Iron Man Two about the Stark Expo and how it won't happen, like all that. And then Rhodey gets his suit and he's kind of ticked off, but he goes into Mumbai, India, and people are like Iron Man, Iron Man, but it's actually War Machine. He gets a little ticked off about that. Um. Mm, as far as the art go, it wasn't the best, but, um, they included two issues in here. The prelude, and then volume one of, volume one, issue one of the new Iron Man series, I thought that was really good. Um, it was really good, I mean, it talked, it based upon the extremist idea. Extremist was really a, uh, issue, an idea came up with, like, in the <coughs> 90s and early 2000s. Um, it was supposed to be a virus that could be planted mm -hmm. in someone that could heal from just about any wound. And it was really shot down. Yes. But, uh, because it, it got one graphic novel and it didn't get a lot of issues. I mean, I can see why. And it was brought back in Iron Man 3. It was, in Iron Man 3 was a huge success. Yes. Bringing Extremis back up. I just hope the they levels. make a fourth one or it's still Robert Downey Jr. signs says Iron Man again. But, just think, if Batman had Extremis, he would be, like, really strong. He also would have blown himself up by now. He can't yeah. stand that kind of weaponry. Yeah. Um, do you want to do another thing, or do you want to talk about some comic book movies? Let's talk about out? some movies for right now. Okay, so, movies coming out for comic books this year. Okay, so, The Wolverine, The Man of Steel, um... The Man of Steel, what am I missing? Thor The Dark World. There's Ant-Man a movie coming out next year, as Thor's well as... 2015. 15? Yeah. Whoa. Um, there's also Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess we could talk, um... I, 
I can uh, now. I I used to follow the old Guardians of the Galaxy, such as Major Victory, I mean, I Charlie Twenty Seven, Nikki. Yeah, but um, the new Guardians of the Galaxy, I, 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 they're, just, they're they're a mockery of the original um, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. They're uh, Gamora, who was part of the Infinity Watch, yeah. Groot, one of Mole Man's monsters, Rocket Raccoon, who was a uh, space traveler from the She-Hulk series. Yes. Um, um, Iron Man, I don't even know how he got in there. Yeah. And Drax the Destroyer from Infinity Watch, who's been reincarnated during the <laughs> Annihilation Wave as a, uh, a, a, a new body. Uh, let's see here. I think the Wolverine's gonna be good. That looks really good, honestly. Yeah. I don't know about Thor the Dark World. I saw the first Thor movie. Oh, I'm sorry. I saw the first Thor movie, and it was okay. I, I didn't feel yeah, I like did it not was... See it. It, it, it. I have it back in... In the room, but, but yeah. I thought it was okay. It could have been better. Yeah, definitely um, could have been a lot better. Let's so. see. I know there. Um, what sucks? I mean, is there any other movies we? Oh, do you want to talk about Man of Steel? I guess. You start. Okay, so Man of Steel is the new Superman movie coming out this year. It's made by um, Zack Snyder's made Three Hundred and Watchmen. It looks pretty good. I mean, they won't have the whole thing about kryptonite, but from what I've seen in it, it looks pretty good. I mean, I don't know if I'll go see it, but... It's just another reboot that um, DC is attending to use to get people interested in Superman again. DC, I mean, look at Marvel Studios. Great movies. They they bring in the big money. D DC, honestly. Besides Batman, what else do you have there? They've tried so many attempts with just... All these movies and experiments and all this stuff, but it's it's, it's never gonna work. I mean, I don't I don't like how they they, they can they do this kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh. Where did it go? Uh. Um, back. I guess we could talk video games. Um. Batman Arkham Origins is coming out. I played Arkham City. Well, that's really good. I don't know. It's not just being made by Rocksteady, so I don't know. It looks like they're going to keep the same kind of combat system going on. Um, next is the Deadpool game. What do you think of that, Tommy? Uh, the Deadpool game was okay. I mean, I, I, I like Deadpool. I think he's fun and funny. But they never really pull him on a game, and I feel it'll be kind of experimental, and it yeah, might not I work mean, as well as it I could. I think it's going to be one of those things where it's like, everyone's hyped up for it, but it turns out being, like, bad, I guess. I don't know. It might just become... It might be a flop. It might be good. We'll, we'll see. We'll have to see. Um, I was have definite flops. Um, let's see. We can talk about, um... The Age of Ultron is coming to an end real soon. Yes. Starting the... Last e issue the is coming... In June. Yes. Actually, we're, we're almost there. Yeah. Um, which is supposed to be... Uh, the Age of AI, Artificial Intelligence, is supposed to be coming up. Which is another attempt to prolong the Age of Ultron because...